front. It's been a while since we played, and you know, back in the days, all you remember are the great games between these two guys. So we just want to go out there and reestablish the rivalry. What can this game do for uh, each program if you guys win it or if they win it? As far as um, it's just the next step for each program. Uh, we just want to go out there. I'm pretty sure both guys, both teams, want to come out with a victory, but only one can. And that'll basically be the stepping stone into next season, uh, 2011. It shows it, it leads into spring practice, and uh, it gives you confidence going in. Do you like, do you worry that this is a really high-profile game? Is that nice? It's always nice to play in a high-profile game. <laughs> you know, even though both teams are seven and five, we still, you know, two two great teams. You know, Notre Dame is a great opponent. We just want to go out there, and play hard against them, and they're going to give us a tough game. Could this make up a little bit of a for the way the season ended? It can. It can. It, um, it'll put us off on the right foot going into next season. We don't want to come into next season with, with sour taste in our mouth. Uh, still thinking about you know what happened last year. Just just like last year with Wisconsin, you want to go into, into spring with the same thoughts in your mind. Where do you sense the enthusiasm of the town here at practice today? Yes, I do. I do sense it. It's a lot, it was a... A lot of people out here to see us. Uh, you know, we love it. We enjoyed it. Yesterday, getting off the flight, you know, it was a nice welcome. And they showed us the, you know, the, how how El Paso does it, and we love it here. <laughs> the Corey, though, obviously the weather's really nice, but it's expected to, to rain game day, potentially even snow. Mm -hmm. You guys started to, you know, uh, uh, is that going through the players' heads at all? Have you guys <laughs> no, it's not going that? through. I'm pretty sure some of us read the forecast, and uh, it's supposed to be uh, at high 40, low 23, but. It's a game, it's a football game, still got to play it no matter what, so we just got to be prepared. You know something on Hankerson, can you give me a quote on what he's meant to the team this year, receiver? Ooh, everything. Hankerson is somebody who's a hard worker. He uh, put forth maximum effort out here. And, uh, you would never catch him you know, lagging. He's always the guy that, that's out in front of everything that we do, and that's why he's the way he is. Have you ever played in the snow? I never seen him in person. I always <laughs> watch him on TV. I go to New York or someplace when it's cold, but it never snow. So how will you prepare for something? Can, can is there any way to prepare? Uh, put your hands in an ice bucket or something? No, nah, just um, <laughs> you know, when I go to sleep at night, turn the air conditioning down to 40, <laughs> <laughs> so I can wake up in the cold and see how it is. Have you been doing that? Did you do that last I night? I sleep like that all the time. Oh, okay. Turn it all the way down okay. to the lowest it, it could possibly go. But um, <laughs> with me, it's. I don't, I don't too much worry about the cold, because uh, when it get cold in Miami, I like to go out in, in regular like shorts and stuff just to adapt to the weather, so I won't complain about it. Thanks. 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 Right, no problem. Thanks.